welcome to Gen X Toy Box. Um, we did a little bit of shopping. So I went to Target on my lunch break because I do almost every day. And then my husband had to go to Cro-Mag, our local toy store, mainly to find, um, I don't know if you guys saw the video where I got um, the Storm, the horse complete. Um, and it was missing its saddle. Come to find out, it fell out in the bag at the store. So they found it and kept it for us. So he went to go get it. Um, and he picked up some other stuff, which is a surprise. So I figured I would show off um, stuff first. So I guess I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do first. I guess I'll do his bag first. Because um, I don't want to wait for the surprise pretty much. So let's go in and see what we have here. Mmm. Very, very good choice on, on his end here. Um, so they recently acquired a big TMNT, like, um, oh, and he's got, oh, yeah. Um, a big TMNT collection. And this is Rat, the Rat King from the commercial, uh, from the commercial, from the car, the newer cartoon. My brain is not alive. And I can't remember the name of that rat. I want to say it's like Aloysius or something really weird like that, but it's like Alabaster. I don't even remember this. I don't, I don't remember, but this character is super creepy. Um, so he's, he normally like hangs out on his shoulder and um, he controls like all of the rats with his little mind and he won't, he won't stay for me. But I used to, I used to love having pet rats. So like any rat character is like one of my favorites, but he is really cool. Um, I don't know. I think my husband's going to keep that one because he's just a little too creepy for my kiddo. Um, what in the world is this? This just looks like a little robot car. Like, I'm not going to transform it because I'm not trying to break it, but it's a transforming car and it's not a transformer or a go lot. So it's just a little transforming vehicle that I am not gonna transform um little anecdote i transformed my first g1 transformer and um i was so terrifying and breaking it that like i barely did anything like that I, I just i was terrified i'm gonna give it to my husband off camera maybe he can transform it for you guys because i'm not doing it um oh i see you here he's got a masters of the universe caverns of fear on cassette so we have it on record and now we have it on here. So it would be kind of cool to see. You can probably mock up some art to go in here until we get like the other one. And I was looking, we have a, oh, Secret of the Sword over there. So this is a really cool other one um, he, from kids stuff, which is really cool. So maybe we can like mock up a little cover um, until we get, you know, another one, but essentially really cool one. All right, what else we got? Oh. My son loves these, and I think now, um, these are the little ninjas in training, and they're absolutely adorable. Look at them. Let me fix this little body right there. All so cute. And um, my husband already has the Raphael, um, but I don't think he has them complete, to be honest. I think he has them, but he doesn't have them complete. Um, so I think my son can get one now <laughs> that he, my husband now has this complete one, and now you can get the other one, so it's pretty cool. So yeah, these guys are really cute. And plus this will go really cute with his like new place that he just got. And then here is a robot transformed. I love robot like clamp hands. Like I don't know, that's my favorite um, part of a robot is when he gets those, you know, little chomp chomp hands. It's really cute. I really need to start patenting the things I come up with chomp chomp hands. Like I just need to it, it's dead on. All right, so we got those little guys, and then let's see what else he got. Oh, so he got the other one. So this is a patch, and then um, I'm pretty sure that you guys saw it last video. Um, I'm pretty sure it came in Wendy's, um, but GoBots. He has another one of these, and he is building up his GoBots collection, believe it or not. It's a little ridiculous. Um, don't don't know why. Um, and then what's going on here? There you go. Okay, it goes with the cassette. So very nice. He got the book and cassette. Very dope. Um, because I know we have like five or six of these, especially this one, the Caverns of Fear. This is one of my son's favorite to read, believe it or not. Um, so now we have the cassette to go with it. I do not. I have not really looked at the cover. 
I do not like the man at arms here. I'm, I'm just going out on a limb and saying this. He has no mustache, first of all. And he looks really weird. Any man at arms looks so weird without a mustache to me. I'm sorry. I, I don't. You can fight me all you want. It just doesn't look right. So um, that was essentially what he found at Chromag. And then I knew this like little dude looked familiar. So we essentially have something very similar to this um, that I think we got at Chromag last time. Um, maybe it was like another toy store, but we had bought something very similar to this. It's like um, the super alternators, and it was like on card we found one. So it's like the same line. So it's pretty cool. All right. Now into what I found. Um, mine were not as cool, but I don't know. To somebody, they might seem just as cool. So I went to Target, and look what I found. I found the Revelation Minis. Um, I was very excited. They had them all, and um, I think I left with just one of every uh, one of every one. And I left them on the shelves for others as well. Um, so I really, really like these. Um, the minis, I'm I'm getting very very comfortable collecting because they are so so small and you know you can put a lot of them somewhere so now we can put them with the other minis that we have but we need another set of these um, believe it or not we need to open one um, so this is the Skella God absolutely um, love it really really cute all right let's see what else you know, we got. and then I'm not really a fan of this one I mean I, I could have gone without it um, the metallic whiplash, like, okay, like, <laughs> you, you have a whiplash, I, I don't know why you needed the metallic one, but cool, why not? Um, if it was hot pink, I'd probably be a little more in, and if it had glitter in it, I'd probably be a little more in, too. Can we make that? Is that, like, a thing? Can we, can we please get some pink glittery whiplashes, please? I think that would be really, really dope. All right, so we got that. And then um, here's the Fisto, which I love how, like, rugged he looks. I absolutely do with, like, the beard and mustache combo. Very rustic looking. Very cool. Um, so, yeah, very interesting choice for the first wave of minis. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that there wasn't a He-Man in here. Um, I mean, you know, you could have, like, done the, like, dead version number one, dead version number two. You could have gone with many. Um, but there's no He-Man. Like, there's no Tila. You would, like, I guess they're, like, saving it for later. Um, but, like, I'm used to there being a He-Man and a Skeletor released at the same time. So I'm just a little confused. Um, and then we come to Beast Man, who, I'm, I'm not going to lie, gave off like a Khal Drago from Game of Thrones type vibe um, throughout the whole cartoon. And I really liked him because like he was so loyal to Evelyn. Um, and I don't know, it just it just made Evelyn so much cooler. So he like paid, played a really cool part in that. And I love his beard hair. I love the like braided thing going on. I dig it a lot. All right, and then we have the cyborg whiplash. Um, very cool. I love what they did with his tail. Overall, um, out of like all the redesigns of the characters, I would probably say he was one of my favorites. Um, I just really like what they did with the character. I, I, I hope they don't make a Triclops mini. <laughs> Um, did not like that character. Don't think it's going to go over well as a toy. Don't want it for the collection. So I think, fingers crossed, that they can keep that one out of the line. Um, don't know what you think, but I, I can go without it. So yay, we have one set, and now we've got to get another one so we can open them and put them with the other minis. But um, this is really fun. This is, you know, his and her shopping. This is what we go do. All right, guys, I'm going to go play with some toys, and I will see you later. Bye. Hello there. I am so grateful that we have reached another milestone. I love doing these videos. It means that you guys are watching and subscribing. So thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. Um, so we have to set a new goal. And I think I'm going to go big at 1000 subscribers and we're pretty close. So Please, everybody, continue to spread the word, share on your social media pages, get your friends and family together, um, 
anybody you may know that may like toys or anyone that just likes YouTube. Um, so spread the word. I would love to get a thousand subscribers and then we can do another giveaway. Don't know what it's going to be yet. Um, maybe some suggestions. What would you think? What would you like to see? What would you like to see as far as a giveaway? Um, do you want to do like a toy, a tour, a toy and a tour? Just curious. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for the support. And this has been a really great journey. So let's make it to 1000. We can do it. Thanks, guys. Bye.